Scientists just keep on finding strange stuff in Pompeii. From finding undiscovered human bodies to ancient shrines and a house filled with strange paintings, these new finds are just wild. Pompeii was an old city that was trapped under the deadliest volcanic eruption of the century. They even found a massive amphitheater that used to host the gladiator events. In today's video, we will be looking at the latest and strangest discoveries made in Pompeii that shook the archaeology world. Are you ready to be amazed? Well, sit tight, grab a snack, and let's dive right in. Buried under 13 to 20 feet of volcanic ash, Pompeii held treasures of ancient Roman life within itself. The city is near Naples in the Campania region of Italy and is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Pompeii is not the only city standing today that gives you a sneak peek into the day-to-day -day life of ancient Romans. There are many other villas, including Herculaneum, that attract tourists from far and wide and are suffering the same terrible fate as Pompeii. From the looks of the city, it seems that the Romans were filthy rich. With various fine public buildings and private rooms styled lavishly, their lifestyle suggests the whole town was prosperous. But all the hustle and bustle ended when a huge volcano erupted and engulfed the city in nothing but dust and ruins. Sources propose that the destruction happened in two phases. First, the mountain erupted and boiling ash rained over the city for around 18 excruciating hours. This allowed a large amount of the population to leave in time, as there have been only 1,150 bodies discovered in the city to date. High-speed winds carrying volcanic ash and intense heat flew over the city, trapping the populace into a scorching bubble. Fierce winds were pushing 1.5 million tons of heat per second. If you want that in perspective, the heat released due to the flowing ash was a hundred thousand times more than the energy of the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Research indicates that the heat was so intense that even the people protected within the buildings could not survive the horrifying temperature. The astonishing part is that despite the escape window being there, many people still died in the catastrophe. Their bodies were found in the same position when the pyroclastic flow blew over the town. But the second phase brought the whole city into rubble and debris. The next day, an eruption tore apart the volcano and brought an avalanche down on the city. The terrible combination of mud and ash dropped on the once prosperous city and split the nation apart. The destruction left nothing standing behind obliterating everything it touched. The haze of the traumatizing events were evident even by the next couple of days. Multiple attempts were made to excavate the ruins and find the hidden treasures spread out in the city. But it was not until the 16th century that success was found. This particular digging uncovered many traces of buildings and revealed the currency used back in the day. The curiosity of the archaeologists kept bringing them back to this ruined city of Pompeii and forced them for more excavations. But soon enough, the authorities realized that the excavations were hurting the fossils that were present. So they pulled back on the digging and started focusing on preserving the remains. This is when a lot of fossil brushes were dusted and many discoveries came to life. And let me tell you, some of these discoveries are downright horrifying. So what are the most shocking findings made in Pompeii? Let's break it down. Number one, the shift in timeline. It was believed for centuries that the Pompeii destruction took place on August 24, 79 AD. But the discovery of a charcoal inscription put that entire observation in question. The inscription has a date that translates to 24th of October in the Georgian calendar, which is two months later than the date initially thought to be the date of destruction for Pompeii. This combined with a bunch of other evidence has forced the scientists to change the date of Pompeii's destruction. And just like that, history has changed. How they came about this is fascinating. 
scientists looked at the fruit remains found in the city. The fresh fruits and vegetables in the shops were the October fruits, while the ones being sold in dried forms could have dated back to August. Similarly, the slightly heavier clothing that was adorned by the many inhabitants must have been from the October season rather than from August. Another thing that confirmed this theory were the coins discovered in a woman's purse. They could not have been minted before September. All of this evidence led the experts to shift the timeline of the Pompeii destruction to October. Number 2. New Skeletons While we keep digging through, the interesting archaeologists have found in Pompeii, the many human remains scattered in the city bring us back to the harsh reality of it all. It indeed was a disaster that killed hundreds of people, including men, women, and even children. Every time a skeleton is unearthed, the grim realization hits back. One of the most recent remains was that of two women and a child of unknown sex. The remains were found underneath a staircase, indicating that they were looking for shelter, trying to escape the scorching heat and rain of ashes. Little did they know that no shelter was enough to save them from the terrifying death. The roof above gave away, and it fell with its massive weight on the three civilians, killing them all. In another discovery, one unfortunate human skeleton was found crushed by a huge boulder. Only its legs and half the torso were visible when the archaeologists discovered the unlucky victim. But later research suggests that the man was already dead before the rock crushed him. A duo was also found underground, seeking shelter from the chaos, but the volcano took them as well, preserving their remains for us to see. The remains suggested that one of the persons was a wealthy individual, while the other was his slave. Another couple of men were discovered behind a collapsed wall. Both of them were in their 50s and had been seeking shelter, but did not expect the whole structure to fall down. The roof caved under the weight of the ash, leaving the men buried under various pieces of heavy rocks. Soon, they were crushed to death. Researchers found them trapped in a site called the House of the Painters. The horrifying thing was that one of the men was found with a shield attached to his arm. He was probably trying to protect himself from the rocks, but a flimsy shield could not protect him. Similarly, many bodies were found in various locations across the city in their fixated states. Each body tells the story of a person who fell victim to the volcano, their suffering forever preserved in the hollows left behind in the ash. But how are the human remains preserved? What are the many stone bodies found around the city? How do the experts keep them in the same position even after their deaths? Let us tell you. When the hot ash engulfed the citizens of the city, it coated their bodies in the molten hard rock lava. They died instantly in that exact position. But when the flesh and the bodies of the dead decomposed, cavities were left inside. Then, Archaeological experts decided to turn these remains into solid bodies to get a better idea of how these remains were positioned at the time of death. The process is called casting, and a lot of effort is put into making it work. What happens is the experts pour down liquid chalk inside the cavities made by the decomposed bodies. So wherever there is a gap in the skeleton, the liquid fills up the cavity turning it into a solid structure. Once the holes are filled, the human remains are preserved in the exact shape and position as they were discovered by the archaeologists. Number 3. House of the Veti As we said earlier, Pompeii was quite rich, judging from the lifestyle of the inhabitants, but one of the houses particularly stood out in its lavish form and style, the House of Veti, from marble basins and statuettes to fountains spread around the length of the house, the architecture demanded that it be crowned the richest house in the city. There were a lot of entertainment rooms, servant quarters, and even separate buildings built for the women of the society. But one thing that was quite visible in the stream of fancy decor were the paintings. 
the whole house had a large number of paintings and art that were eventually restored to get a hint of what the Pompeii people wanted to whisper to the modern civilians. But it was not the kind of whisper that everyone would want to hear. It was found that the art and sculptures present in the house were of inappropriate nature. Some told the narrative of how the people in the Pompeii society used to live and others depicted mythological stories. But there were many others that were of vulgar nature, not what you expect to see in an ancient manner. Number four, the horses. There were many luxury villas where the elite of Pompeii used to live. These villas were just outside of the city rather than on the main street. In one of such villas, there was a stable for horses owned by a high-ranked military officer. At the time of the 2018 excavation, the remains of three horses were unearthed. One of them was wearing a saddle, while the other two had harnesses on. It is said that the harnesses were being tied on the horses by the Romans to try and escape the mass destruction that was unfolding in the city, but the efforts were in vain. The interesting thing about this whole discovery is that it was accidental. During that time, many of the locals were fishing around the site to steal valuable remains. A police investigation led to the capture of all the thieves who had managed to steal over 2,000 artifacts. This resulted in experts coming over to check over the sites that had been previously undiscovered by anyone except for these thieves. Recently, Another discovery was made at the same site where a horse was found near the gate with its knees bent. Experts believe that the horse must have been trying to flee by jumping over the gate. But the poor horse could not manage it in time, and the volcanic eruption hit it and froze its body in that horrifying state. And scientists has always learned a lot from this find. They discovered the kinds of harnesses that were used in the day, as well as learned more about how the Romans used to travel. The Roman-made harnesses are quite rare and different, so this may have been an accidental find, but a valuable one for sure. Number five, the shrine. Even after a thorough excavation, you can find a surprise hidden at the back of the wall. A similar thing happened with this shrine that was tucked away at the back of the room. This shrine was a fresco painted over the wall of multiple serpents slithering in might. The snakes are yellow in color, brightly visible in the burgundy background. Near the snakes, various warriors were painted, with their dressing being quite different from what we see today. Snakes are already quite symbolic to the ancient Romans, but the experts believe that this was the place where they made offerings. Number six, a boat preserved. For this discovery, we head over to the nearby town called Herculaneum. This town, too, was annihilated by the explosion of the volcano that destroyed Pompeii. But in the case of Herculaneum, the ash preserved the wooden items in the city much better. And why is that good? Well, we get to see this. What you are seeing is one of the very few wooden boats that survive from the time of the Mount Vesuvius explosion. The boat is beautifully crafted with paint still visible on it. What a fascinating find. Number seven, the graffiti art. What's interesting to know about the Pompeii destruction is that it captured and froze an entire society for us to discover. The ancient inhabitants had a life of their own and their hobbies travel all the way to this date. How? Believe it or not, through graffiti. The many walls of Pompeii held graffiti and inscriptions, ranging from jokes and political slogans to hundreds of vulgar messages. There were over 3,000 such inscriptions and art that were seared on the walls of the Roman city. People believe that the language written across the art is from the vulgar Latin that became lost quite early on. A lot of people think of the art as offensive, while others find it a rare expression of the thoughts of the people of Pompeii but it does give us a unique perspective of the life of an average citizen in the ancient city. Number eight, the building for laundry. Just like any other society, the city of Pompeii had a division between the rich and the poor. 
The latter part of the hierarchy lived in apartment buildings that are quite similar to what you find today. However, these apartments were quite small and did not host a well-furnished laundry area to wash the clothes. Hence, a structure was present nearby that was discovered as a laundrette where the locals used to wash their laundry. This whole building was dedicated to washing and drying clothes. There are massive baths along with a pressing area where the clothes must have been ironed. You would also find a bunch of stone basins that the experts believe were for dyeing clothes. But the interesting thing was that the water lines that ran to the launderette came from various public bathrooms. It is believed that the Romans used to wash their clothes with urine. It was fairly more accessible back in the day. The lingering smell of urine is still woven in the air if you want to visit the launderette of the Romans. Number nine, the massive amphitheater. Another interesting discovery that made headlines was the huge amphitheater. It stands tall as a landmark of the Roman city. The space is spread out over a gigantic area, allowing 20,000 spectators to view the events hosted there. Before its discovery, many amphitheaters were found around the world, but none of them were built of stone. Almost all of them were constructed of wood, so seeing one that was designed with concrete stone was a first for the world. It is believed that the epic structure stood tall for about a hundred years until the shattering destruction brought the building down. It is one of the sites in the city that is in its best preserved state. The amphitheater used to host all kinds of events that the ancient Romans used to enjoy. From the captivating circus shows and gladiator games to the more scary ones like public executions, wild animal fights and blood sports, the ghosts of all those events remain frozen in the wind of Pompeii City. Like the graffiti art that is smeared across the walls of Pompeii, the walls of the amphitheater weren't any different. But one fascinating disparity were the many gladiator images. There is this one poster of a gladiator that marks himself as the heartthrob of girls. That's one way to flex in ancient Rome, I guess. Number 10. The Fast Food Joint. As the architecture of the city suggests, the life of the Romans was thriving with success and luxury. One such structure that confirmed this theory was a fast food restaurant. Its name was discovered to be the Regio 5, which had a vibe quite identical to the modern fast food joint. There were around 80 different eateries of similar nature the archaeologists discovered, but Regio for Faith was the one that is best preserved today. Even inside the eatery, there were incredible discoveries that showed the kinds of exquisite dishes that the Romans feasted on. Many remnants of pigs, goats, ducks, and even snails were found that constituted the spread of the Romans back in the day. Number 11, the painting of a pizza. Soon after the discovery of the oven, another interesting thing was revealed, a painting of what looked like a pizza. Now, it does not seem as much in hindsight, but check this out. The fresco depicted a beautiful tray with a flatbread surrounded by pomegranates, dates, nuts, and arbutus fruits. The shocking thing is that the flatbread could not have been a pizza because the two famous ingredients that we use excessively today, mozzarella and tomatoes, did not make their way into Italy until after the late 15th or early 16th century. It is almost impossible that the recipe for this flatbread would be the same as a pizza. Yet the similarity is right there. Even if the flatbread was not a classical Italian delicacy, people cannot shake off the feeling that the painting highly resembles the Neapolitan dish of today. Many people over the internet have even started calling it the ancestor of pizza. Number 12, the Stabian Baths. The Stabian Baths held the honor of being the oldest baths in Pompeii. When discovered by the archaeologists, they became the earliest Roman baths in the world to still exist. These particular baths were quite huge, covering 3,000 feet of space and enclosing two different sections, one for men and the other for women. 
The whole structure did not have the best lighting, but it did have a proper set of facilities installed for the visitors. The women's section had a series of private baths for the sake of privacy. This was in case the visitors did not want to use the same water as the one being used by everybody else in the pool. There was also a separate site for bathrooms, a courtyard, a gymnasium, and even a central bathing area. The fascinating thing was the intricate structure of the Stabian baths. There were various rooms, and they all had different facilities. Some were for cold bathing, others for hot baths, and a section of rooms for warm temperatures too. Yes, the ancient Romans had better baths than we do today. Number 13, the commercial oven. Have you ever seen an ancient oven that bakes over a hundred loaves of bread a day? This incredible discovery in Pompeii, unearthed by the experts, was so massive that they deemed it as a commercial oven. It depicts how life in Pompeii was hustling and bustling, with a lavish lifestyle being the norm. It is not like the houses in Pompeii might not have had an oven. But this particular one was found in a building that was not like the other shops in the city. The building did not have a huge display of windows or a big front, marking it as a wholesale area for baked goods. Plus, there were around 50 bakeries discovered in the ancient city, along with many fast food joints that crammed the area. So, the oven must have been a commercial distributor and retailer for these bakeries and joints. Number 14. Construction Site The Romans were able to build such marvellous structures, but how did they do that? This find in Pompeii shed some light on that. Recently, archaeologists discovered a whole construction site while digging in Pompeii. They found tools, tiles and other building materials lying around as if the workers had just left them there to go take a break. From this, historians have been able to understand how the Romans used to build their houses and structures. Apparently, this site was a renovation project that got rudely interrupted by the volcano erupting. Scientists found jars that workers would have used to mix mortar. They also found lead weights that were needed to hoist heavy weights. There were even rudimentary tools needed to keep walls perfectly vertical. It all shows how ingeniously the ancient Romans used to build their homes. That is all on the mind-blowing discoveries that were unearthed at Pompeii. Which one was your favorite? Do you have a particular site in mind that you want to visit when you travel to Pompeii? Let us know in the comments. While you are commenting, make sure to hit the like button and press the subscribe icon. We will keep updating your feed with thrilling discoveries. Until we bring out our next exciting video, stay tuned and goodbye.